Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Louis Vuitton Escal Time Zone in stainless steel. You can see and you can purchase this stylish stainless steel world time watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And of course, click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this and all of the timepieces for sale on our website. Now, the Louis Vuitton Escal Time Zone takes the remarkably original, distinctive, and inventive aesthetic of the Escal World Time and prices it more accessibly. A fraction of the original World Time, this time zone gives you the same World Time functionality in a more traditionally sized 39 millimeter stainless steel case. It has outsized personality, character, and wonderful fit. On my 16 centimeter circumference oval profile wrist, you can see it's an easy watch to wear. 39 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. The watch is a slim 8.8 millimeters in profile with a generously sloped yet minimalist bezel. It's an easy one to slip underneath a dress cuff. From lug to lug, it's a very manageable 45 millimeters. So if you've ever worn, for instance, a 36 millimeter Rolex date just on a strap, it fits like that. Now, you'll also note that it has remarkably close drilled lugs with a semi-curved spring bar arrangement that really doesn't fight your wrist at all, even though this kind of arrangement often is predisposed to do so by dint of sheer stiffness. And at the same time, it almost completely closes the gap to the case, creating a very handsome and integrated aesthetic with virtually no daylight showing between this highly stylized strap and the flanks of that case. Now note the profile of the case. It's beautifully assembled with layered fixtures, the lugs appearing almost like modules with separate assembly bolts to mimic the look of Louis Vuitton's famous travel bags and trunks. Now, of course, that aesthetic continues in the leather, which is beautifully colorful, flamboyant, inventive, original, and fun. That's important in luxury watches. We forget that they're supposed to be fun. It's of high grade red rectangular scale alligator leather bolstered generously where it abuts the lugs. It tapers out as it moves farther away. Monotone stitch with a folded edge. It comes with a full clasp, which surprised me. I didn't expect a watch priced below $8,000 US to come with a full clasp. And moreover, it's fully finished inside and out, all of high polish, nicely thought out, minimalist in its profile, but it serves the essential function of a clasp which is to loop with the opposite side of the strap and avoid droppage while donning or removing at bedside or any other time you may wish to remove or apply the watch to your wrist. Now the case finish, in addition to featuring that handsome mechanical modularity, also features a nice contrast between its polished and its satin finished aspects. The case is minimalist. Mostly satin finished in its profile, the bezel is a hairline silver polished halo surrounding a dial that is one of the most distinctive, and I would even say in the short time it's existed, borderline iconic dials in all of horology. And make no mistake, this watch was designed and prototyped in-house by Louis Vuitton. It is assembled, regulated, and shipped out from an in-house assembly facility. Louis Vuitton is doing impressive things, like Bulgari today, a brand from outside the world of horology that has become deeply immersed and vertically integrated. You'll also note how the minimalist crystal and the flush fit of the World Time chapter ring creates the appearance that the crystal is almost flush with the dial. It's really striking in person to see it. There's almost no tangible depth between the two, and it makes the watch seem almost magically alluring as you begin to manipulate its functions. Now you can see the hour and the minute indicator at center, capped by a Louis Vuitton emblem. This is a wonderful way of creating a dial that dazzles at first, but as bewildering as it appears, its functional logic is really quite clear. Now I'm going to pull the crown out all the way, and you can see how easy it is to simply read the change of hours and minutes as read across the scale inboard of the world time 24 hour chapter ring. Now if I want to change my reference city, you see the index is at 12, New York is at 12, I'm in Philadelphia now, I used to be in Miami, they're both in the US East Coast time zone, so that city, New York, my reference city of the 24 primary cities, 24 primary time zones, it goes at 12. Now here's the thing, if I pull the crown out one detent from flush to the case and I start turning, I can change my reference city at 12 o'clock. And you can see the beautiful pennant style colors correspond to each city. Some 
inboard, some outboard on the reference ring. But every time you change your reference city, of course, you do have to change the time. But once you've set your reference city and your local time, you can then read the hour adjacent to any one of the individual cities and then read your minutes and you have the hour at any city in the world's 24 principal time zones. On the case back, there's a wonderful magic rotor. Now, what's in there, you can see La Fabrique du Temps, that's the ultra haute de gamme outfit in Geneva that Louis Vuitton purchased that designed this watch and creates the prototypes as well as the production variant execution to serve as the template for final assembly for all Louis Vuitton watches, whether they're the ultra haute de gamme or the entry level. Automatic winding. It features a ETA 2892 ultra thin movement, which allows this watch to be thinner than 9 millimeters, despite the world time and automatic winding. It has a 42 hour power reserve, and frankly, it's tough as nails. Endlessly serviceable. It features world time, time of day, automatic winding, a standard power reserve, and 50 meters water resistance. So while I wouldn't necessarily swim with this watch, it has solidly more than the 2 to 3 ATM resistance that's standard in the dress watch category. Handsome, original, and already something of a renowned design in modern horology. You've got a watch that packs all of the punch of the Escal world time in the Escal time zone. And again, Louis Vuitton, now a serious name in horology, deserves your serious consideration. Consider this one on our website.